We're the Avengers. That's what we call ourselves anyway. We have a Hulk. Hey, what's going on, you guys? Welcome to Draw 2. My name is Ramney, and this is another episode of How to Draw the Show, where I show you how to draw your favorite characters in easy to follow, simple step by step instructions. Before we begin, I just want to say that if you like the content that I provide you in this channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below, and please also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you guys are notified anytime that I upload any of my tutorials in this channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to draw Iron Man, more specifically, Iron Man Mark 46, which appears in Captain America Civil war when this channel started to grow i was doing civil war characters and i did a speed drawing of iron man as he appeared in iron man 2 and later on a couple of months later i also did an iron man mark 4 uh, drawing tutorial which had no narration so after all that time i felt that this is the time that i should finally do a proper iron man tutorial so here it is Iron Man Mark 46. This tutorial is all about precision and making sure that you got your shapes right and angles proper. So make sure to be mindful of all of that when you do this tutorial. As usual, what you guys need for this tutorial is a pencil, an eraser, any type of white paper and black pens with different sized nibs for inking afterwards. As you're watching this tutorial, remember that you can pause at any time so that you guys can catch up in your drawings. We all draw at different speeds, so find a pace that works for you and stick to it. And also, if your drawings look nothing like my drawing tutorial, that is completely fine as well. Having said all of that, let's get right to the Iron Man Mark 46 tutorial. For this Iron Man tutorial, I've got my paper in portrait mode, and we're going to start off by drawing the head slightly bigger. We're going to uh, draw it a little bit off-center, uh, closer to the left, and I'm going to draw a circle. Now, it's very important that you get all these angles right the first time so that your Iron Man will look, um, will look right, because if your shapes are not, if they're slightly off through there will be something like your Iron Man drawing will look slightly off. And so try to get these shapes right as you can. And uh, as usual, I'm going to block out the shapes first before we get into the little details. And let's start right here with a little line going like this, put that far, and then we're gonna angle it in like this. Okay, now go back to this side of the circle, right around here, we're gonna draw a line going about that far down. And then this goes like this, and then straight. Like that so that's going to be for the helmet now let's go back over here we're going to draw a little line angled line that's for the neck and the other part of the neck goes down over here like that all right now let's go to this part of the jaw here we're going to draw a little line like this and then another line like that so it sort of gets wider as you go down about this far down from the chin we're going to draw a line going across and you want this line to be similar in width to the chin so here and here should be the same now you see this little spot right here we're going to find that same side or same spot on the other side we're going to bring this up like that this is the chest plate now and then we're going to bring this to here so it's just not a not a sharp corner but a slight bend as it goes out that far okay i'm going to draw that going that way and then i'm going to find a spot right here i'm going to make this go out and then it gets round all right, inside we can draw a little line going across again over here and we'll finish that up a little bit later on now let's find a spot about this far down from uh, this line right here we're gonna go this far down not too far and we're going to draw a circle slightly an oval like that right there okay uh, on top of the circle we're going to draw a line going straight across you want this line and this line to be parallel to each other you can even erase the top part if you want. No need, but if you want to. And then starting with that line, I'm gonna angle down two lines right there. And then I'm going to draw a shape that is similar to Superman's S symbol. So this goes like this, and this goes like that. And then here at the bottom, just like that, okay? So this is Iron Man Mark 46, and Mark 46's armor, uh, it's got the, it's got the, uh, what do you call it? This little part, the top part of the arc reactor is covered all right, now from here, actually let's go over here. A little slight bend, tiny little line like that. We'll go back over here. This line and this line should be the same line. It's just that this is seen at an angle, so it's got that bend. And then a tiny little line like that. And over here, slightly bigger line. These two lines should be the same, the same line anyway, but this one is longer because of the angle that we see it at. Okay, now let's go over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
make sure that I'm going to draw a line from here going up, making sure that this line right here and this line are parallel to each other. Okay. And then same thing over here, I'm going to do it again. And I want to make sure that these two lines are pa parallel to each other. And I'm drawing this lightly because, because we're going to be, I mean, that's just the foundational lines. And then from here, we'll do the same thing. We're going to bring it up to that far. And same thing here goes up that far. All right, now let's go back over here. This is the shoulder, obviously. I'm going to bring it in. And just when you think you're going to meet this line right here, we're going to actually spread and go meet this line. So right around the part where uh, you, you angled the angle changes right here, you want that to be around the same, same part. So there you go. And of course, on this side, you don't really see that. Now, what you need to do is you need to go down here. And from here, we're going to angle it till it meets this little point right here. Okay, and then you can continue this. And we're going to draw it up to here, I'm going to draw a line right here so that we know where we're going to end our drawing. Okay, now, over here, I'm going to draw the same the same angle goes like that. This actually continues down and then it kind of goes down right at the bottom. Okay. This goes right here and then down and then up again like that. And then right here, we're going to create this little curved line like that. Okay. And then this right here will We'll figure out where we're going to put the arms and then we'll continue this line right here. But uh, essentially, here's the shoulder pad. Straight line there. And then right here kind of overlaps in this corner and then goes to about right, right here, right about top right from there. Okay. And then changes directions. Goes this way. Right around here. So imagine this line going there. Stops right there. And then it changes directions again. Okay, now over here, I'm going to draw a line from there going all the way down and curves just like that. And then this now just go continues and curves right there. So this is one big shoulder pad. I'm going to cut off my picture right around here. So that's where I want to cut it off. Okay, the bicep starts right here. Let me just draw a tiny little line like this and then that's the bicep right there. Okay. And I'm going to draw a line like this and then another line like that. Now let's go back to this little point. And this is where the back is going to go. I'm going to draw a slight, small little line like this and then line going out and then line going out like that. Okay. Now from here, I'm going to draw, I'm going to start uh, bringing this narrower as you go down. So you want to take a look at how you got your body sort of uh, shaped and you want to angle it so that it gets narrower as you go down. And it's good to about there. And then tiny little line like that. And then the rest of the suit. Okay. Now, see this little point right here, we're going to draw a line from here going across to about there. And then right here, across until we reach this point right here. Okay, find the middle down here, make this go up until it meets this line right here. There's tons of mechanics over here. We'll worry about that later on. Um, right here, we're going to draw like a, a part of the circle. Imagine a circle right here along this part. So we're going to draw just the bottom part of that. And it's not a circle. I say circle because, I mean, that's what it looks like if you look at it straight on. But when we draw it, it's actually an oval. Another one inside, another oval, and another one outside. And this is where things start to overlap with each other and it starts to get a little bit uh, a little bit convoluted. Okay, so there's that. We'll worry about the details later on. Let's move on to here. And we're going to start off with the shoulder pads. It goes out this way. And then right up, like about this wide, uh, we're going to figure out where it comes out. It comes out here and then goes down about this far down right here. Okay, so I draw this little slight shape like that. Tiny little line going out. Another little line going to the left. 
and then this goes up like this. And then right here, you just nicely just curve it so that you get that nice curve. Just like that. Now right here is the bicep. This goes in like that, so we don't really see much of it. And then right here is where the forearm comes out. So here's the forearm. We're just going to draw it coming out like that. And right here. There you go. So that's the basic shape for Iron Man. Now we're going to get into the nitty gritty. And let's start off with the iconic helmet. I'm going to erase that bottom of the circle so that we have this shape right here. Now we got to we got to get this shape right, like I said earlier. So you want to make sure that you have all of these angles done correctly. Okay, let's start off by theory, figuring out where the faceplate is going to go. And I'm going to start right here. And I'm just going to go across like this, like that. Now, right around here, we're going to shape the head slightly so that it comes to a little point right there. And right around here, we're going to bring... Imagine a, a semicircle right on this side of the face here. That's what we're going to do. So not a semicircle, like a, an, another circle. So there's another circle right there on that plane. So it looks like that. So we've got this line right here. We're going to make this one go down kind of right around there. And then it goes in like that. Okay. Figure out where the center is. So here's the center. It goes that way. And then at the top, it goes like that. Now that you have the center, let's draw that little thing that he's got at the top there. This little trapezoid shape at the top of the faceplate. Looks like that. And then below that, right around here, we're going to draw the eye, eye line. We're going to draw the eye line like this. You can even draw another line underneath it. So that's going to be where the eyes go. Hang on a sec. Let me fix that up. I want that to go a little bit higher up. There you go. It's okay to make mistakes. If you do, feel free to just pause, pause the video and fix your mistake and then carry on. Okay. So we've got the eye line figured out right around there. And now what we need to do is we need to, right here, we're going to draw from the corners, this tiny little angled line like that. Over here, it's a little bit more of an angle. looks like that. You know what? Let me bring this down a little bit. You guys probably don't need to do that on yours. So here's tiny little line, tiny little angled line. Now the angles of these lines are slightly different because of the way that the face is angled. This right here is steep and this right here is a lot less steep. You see that? So it looks like that. Now from this point, you want to bring that to the cheek. Here's a little cheek corner right there. And right here, we're going to find the cheek corner right around here. Okay, we're going to bring that to there. And then this goes in like that. Okay. Now right here, I'm going to draw another line going this way. And I'm going to draw a line going this way. And then right here, I'm going to draw a line. It sort of gets narrower. So it's not parallel to this line. It goes here and it gets a little narrower as you go down. Okay. So we're looking for this for this shape right here where the where the jaw meets. Okay. So now we have that. Let's shape the head nicely. I'm leaving that little corner there. Okay. Now we have the foundations for Iron Man's helmet. First thing is, well, let's figure out just where the eyes are going to go. So there's one there and then right here and right here. Okay. So with this circle sort of bends, you want the eye to be right there as well. Now you want to make sure that the eye is centered. So imagine a line going from here, going all the way down to there. And this goes from here going down. These are where you want the eyes to go. Now draw them lightly first because they're not, they're not these shapes. They angle a little bit. Okay. Right in the center of the eyes, I'm going to draw a line going straight and then two lines going up about that far. And now right here, I'm going to draw kind of just a, it looks like an exhaust port or just a, an indent in the, on the mask. Looks like that. Okay. Right here. I'm going to draw a line going out and this point meets this point like that. Okay. So let's do the same thing on this side. I'm going to draw this little indent right here. Looks like that. Okay. 
another line, line right here, and then this point meets this point like that. Okay, and then right underneath that, there's another line right there, and another line right here. Okay, now let's start shaping those eyes. Let's try to get that shape right. We're gonna leave this right here. Uh, the eyes, okay, we start right here in the center, and it goes up, and right here goes down. So it kind of makes this shape like a sideways V. Now it goes across, and then it goes up before you reach the end. So it looks like that, okay? Right here is an angle. And then it gets, it's wide here on this side, and then it gets narrower as you go closer to the center. It's very slightly, okay? Now we're, we're gonna go from this line that we did right here, I'm gonna bring a line going up, line going across to there, okay? Now right here, I'm going to draw just that shape right there for now. And then we're going to draw a line going across right there, and then a line going across right here. Okay, now go back to this, and I'm going to draw a line going across right there. Now the way that the face is shaped, you guys notice that I'm starting to shape the side here. I created a little bit of a brow, just like that right there, and then it goes straight down. Okay, inside the eye, I'm going to draw a line right there and right here. And then right inside the eye, little line right there. Okay. Okay, here's that little line. Here's the cheek line right here. It goes this way. And then here's the little cheek line. I'm gonna smooth it out a little bit. So it looks like that. Okay, now I'm gonna draw a line above. Sorry, let me zoom out. So here's the cheeks. Right here, I'm gonna draw a line slightly above this line right here. I'm gonna draw a line going across right there. And then another line above it like that. Okay, now this is going to be the the jaw, the red part of the mask. So this goes down, this goes down. Everything's got a smooth corner. So this goes down like this, and then across right here, and then it goes up right there. Okay, right here, I'm actually going to draw the cheek, and then it goes down, and then I draw it again like that, so, so that it has this little indent right there, okay? Now this right here just goes like that, and you don't really see much of it over here. So I'm just gonna draw one more line like this, and then we're gonna leave it right there, okay? Now here's the Iron Man, like here's the 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 lips, I guess, of the mask. It goes across. You wanna try to make the brow and this right here, you want them to be parallel. All of these lines should be parallel to each other. This, 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 and this, okay? So let's draw the frown. If the frown goes down right here, and then it goes across like that. There you go. Now you've got this little weird looking shape right here. We're gonna take this and we're gonna bring it like this and like that. And then over here, what we need to do is we need to go from this point, we're gonna bring it to there, and then we're gonna make a little line like that. And that's what that looks like. Another one right here, another line. And then over here, another line from here to here. Okay, inside that, I'm gonna draw just a faint little line going diagonally like that. All right, so now we've got the jaw. We've got the head. From here, I'm going to draw a line going across, and this line and this line should be parallel to each other so that they look like two equal lines going across like that. Okay, this point right here goes up. Now this continues and becomes the ear, like part of the ear. From here goes up and then goes to the back of the head and we do that twice, like that. And then right here, line going down to this line. And then goes back, it goes like that and then it goes down to this line again. And then from here, I'm gonna draw a line going up to the back, and here, a line going out to the back, and that's where his ears kind of go. And then right here now, I'm just gonna draw a line going up to the back, just like that. So that's the gist of Iron Man's helmet. Let's just uh, try to shape it so that we get a nice, nice smooth look to it. 
right here, I'm going to draw just that shape right there. And then you've got Iron Man's helmet. We are not done though. We've got tons more stuff to, to do. Now let's start with the neck. Okay. One line right here and another line right here. Okay. And a faint line from here to here. What we need to do is we need to draw a line from here going across. I'm going to make that line a little bit thicker and then goes up like that. And over here, it kind of goes slightly up. You don't really see much of it. Okay. Let me draw a faint little line going down right there as well. Okay. We'll do it again. One thick line going across, goes up there and then goes up right there. Okay. Now on this side, the line goes down instead, goes like that. And same thing, I'm going to draw a line right here, got a line going down right there. Okay. Let me draw a line from here, goes down to there. That is of course the side of the chest plate. And then this just sort of, yeah, it just looks like that. Okay. Now from here, the back of the neck goes out, down, and then angles down like that again. Now this point right here goes to the back like that. Okay. Now I'm going to draw another line from here. The back goes out this way and then goes down again like that. And then down here, same thing. So it creates this layer on the back of the neck there. Okay. Now let's go back to the front. I'm kind of rushing this now because it's all it's already been quite a while and we haven't really gotten to the body yet. Line going across right here, you know, from here gets narrow, but you want to go parallel to this line and this right here is parallel to that line right there, all the way to the back. And this goes all the way up like that. Okay. Let me draw two V's, one right here, one right here, not V's. They're just angled lines that go there and there. And then right around here, I draw a line going across, across, just like that. Okay. We'll, we'll do something with that later on. Let's go back over here. We're going to draw a line parallel right there. And right here it goes sort of parallel and almost meets this kind of meets it. Let's make it meet. Okay. We're going to draw mm, from here, angled line, angled line. And then right here, another angled line and another angled line right there. And then goes across and this goes across. Now this goes down to this line right here. And then right here goes across and then kind of changes directions, goes like that. And then right here, I'm going to make this kind of shape right here. It's one of the exhaust ports in Iron Man's um, chest plate. Okay. So this goes actually, Let me fix that. Starts right here and just goes across like that. And this goes down just like that. Let's continue this going all the way there. Okay. From here, I want a line going down. And then right here now, I'm going to see this point right here. I want this to go back up to around there. And then I want this line to meet that line. So. goes up like this and well, let's see, this goes like this and this goes down like that all the way down to here and then across like that. Now here we're going to bring this in. So it looks like this, same thing here. We're going to bring this in to there and then I'm going to double up on this line right here, 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 and here. And same thing over here, right there, like that, and goes up like that. Okay. Now it's starting to look a little convoluted, but uh, bear with me. Let's go over here now. This is going to be a gold part of his chest plate. So from here goes like that, goes there. Follow this line. Now this goes across, goes up and then across. Okay. Let's go to this little corner right here goes across slightly and then goes like that sideways. And then from here goes all the way to the back. Okay. You don't see much of that over on this side, except maybe let me just shape this. Okay. There's that gold part right there. I'm going to shade this in 
this is part of the exhaust port right there like that and right here from here I'm just gonna shade that in all right now right here yeah just a tiny little line okay now where are we I want to erase this line right here and that line so I erase these two lines going down the center because you just want that to kind of go halfway and same thing here just goes halfway okay right here I'm gonna draw another line going across like this right here I'm gonna double up on this line right here and same thing here I want this line to double up right here going down now let's draw the mechanics over here a little circle right there and then two lines going around that circle like that I want that circle to have two lines going down the middle of it okay let's go back over here I want to just make sure I got the the chest plate drawn in now over here let's focus on this part of the chest plate now let's go back over here I'm gonna continue this line going across and then it's gonna go down this way and then it's gonna go like this okay and I'm gonna draw a line going across or going up and down to about there and from here I'm just gonna draw a line going like that okay right here goes this goes out and then like that and then goes out even more and then a line like that and then right here it's just that mechanics goes in goes like this and then goes like that and then right here goes down like this okay now let's uh this actually goes down over here and this goes down beside it like that okay right here he's got some rivets and we're just going to draw a series of circles I'm gonna draw eight on each side so those there's 16 holes right here now I'm going to draw a line going across or a line going up and down all the way to here and then from here I go up like this and then I go across but I'll stop right here I'm gonna bring this up like that and I'm gonna draw two lines from here going to the back erase that point so I've got this shape right here I'm going to right around here kind of where this ends I'm gonna draw a line going down and then a rectangle with rounded off corners okay a line like this and then it goes in like that and then here just the mechanics and I'm just gonna draw a line like this like that it goes up like that and then this goes up as well line going like that another circle right here with a line going this way two lines now right here I'm just gonna draw one two three lines and this goes up that looks like that with a line going right here all right so now here are the mechanics for the arm I'm gonna draw another little one right here it goes like that and goes in and then comes back out follows and goes in again and then another line or another round shape like that and then a bunch of lines going out like that kind of like wires okay rivet right there another rivet right here now over here just a bunch of mechanics again this is probably the toughest thing for me to try to teach you how to draw just because there are so many little details okay so it goes like that line going like this and within that line there's just tons of little lines that I'm actually just being random about it okay another round going up like that until it covers pretty much the whole the whole side right here okay so I mean you can freehand it and try to add some details of your own over here but they're pretty much just a bunch of mechanics that make uh, that make the Iron Man costume work it's just the robotics underneath it okay let's go back over here now and we'll go over here we'll draw a line going across from here all the way to here okay just like that and then this goes across to there there you go 
And then now what we need to do is we're going to draw another line from here parallel to that. And then from there, this goes down till we can't see it anymore. But what we need to do from here, we're going to bring this down to this corner. And then this line right here, we're going to bring it all the way up to there. Okay. So as you guys can see, this is like the top plate and this is the bottom plate. I'm going to draw another line right here and then out like that. Same thing over here goes down and then from here goes in like that. Okay. So that's uh, the Iron Man chest. Pretty much got the whole thing. It's very detailed. But let's add some details to the arc reactor now. Another line right here and right here. Goes in like that. And then we'll do the same thing right here. Goes like that. And then another one right there. And the arc reactor, we're going to draw another circle inside it. Okay, right here. This goes down and then across, down, and tiny little line across. So it looks like that. And that's pretty much it for that. Now let's go to this shoulder pad. And we're going to start right here. This corner, we're going to bring it out this way. And then going like that. And then it goes this way. From here, it goes down parallel to this line. It goes in and then down again like that. Okay. Now right here, we're going to bring this like that. Until it touches. And back out again. So it looks like this. And then on this shape, we're going to draw the out outline of that. And then from here, we're going to make it go out to the outside, just like that. Okay. Now from here, tiny little line going this way and then this way. Okay. As you get to the center of this shape, we I create this little rectangle right there. And from here goes like this till you get to this point right here. Okay. Double up on that line. And from here, line going across double up on this line. So it looks like that. Okay, this is I'm going to darken that it's going to be black. Okay, right here, line going across right there. And then we'll leave that to the rest. Let's zoom out. And let's do let's just do this one. From here goes like that. And then there's just a one, two, three lines like this. And then from here, it goes like that and then out. Okay, there's three lines right here. We're going to go with the middle one and we're going to bring it like that and like this. And this goes up again and then goes in again like that. Now this right here goes out and this goes this way. Okay, right here I'm going to draw a line like this and then out again like that. So that's just the little details on the forearm. And then lastly for our drawing we're going to focus on this shoulder shoulder pad right here. I'm going to draw a line like this going across all the way to here. Okay, right in the middle, I'm going to draw same thing with it on this side. Right there. Okay, right here. Line going like that. Up, across, down, all the way to the end. And this goes like that. Now, uh, same thing over here, it's some sort of exhaust port. What we need to do is we need to, from here, we're going to draw a line going out like that. And then back to that line, we're going to draw a line like this and goes out and goes down again. And from here, it goes out like that. And right in here, outline that shape. Okay, over here, let's go over here. This goes out and then goes across like that. Okay, right here, cuts off right here like that all the way to here actually right here and then and then it looks like that okay and lastly for the shoulder we got this shape going like this and then across like that okay now for the biceps here's the bicep plate here's the red part of it and then a line going across it there one more right there and then one right there Okay, so that is how you draw it, you guys. Very detailed, uh, as detailed as it can get. That is how you draw Iron Man Mark 46, the armor that appears in Captain America Civil War. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. When you ink, remember to uh, try to ink the little details in a thinner, smaller nib and just the main outlines in a thicker nib. That way you can differentiate between 
what is detail and what is, you know, the outlines. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and let's get to the inking. And that is all the time that we have today. Thank you for watching all the way to the very end of this Iron Man Mark 46 drawing tutorial. I hope your drawings of Iron Man turned out great. If it did, if you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So please head on over to the Google Plus community and post your artwork there for everybody to enjoy. Or head on over to Instagram and tag me in your drawings so that I can see them as well. If you guys are curious about the equipment that I use to film my videos or to do my tutorials, I have links to those in the description below. Clicking on those links helps to ensure that content creators like myself are supported so that we can continue making good stuff like this for you guys free of charge. And if you feel like being extra awesome, I now have merchandise that you can purchase such as t-shirts, mouse pads, and mugs. I also have art that is for sale in my online store, draw2.storeenvy.com. And I do have a Patreon page that is coming up real soon, so please stay tuned for that. I have links to all of those down in the description below. So thank you for your consideration. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, it would help me a great deal. If you guys liked this video, comment it below or share this video with your friends in your social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a free coloring page of our Man Mark 46 plus all of the coloring pages from my tutorials on this channel. Again, you guys, links to all of those are in the description below. Finally, thank you once again, and as always, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. And here, as you guys can see, is my MCU diorama, and there is Iron Man Mark 46 right over there, just hanging out behind Captain America in in front of War Machine. I've got a couple of missing figures in this. Uh, the Hulkbuster, for one, and I don't have the right Hawkeye and the right Vision, which hasn't come out yet. So I'm waiting on those. So there's a little preview.